creating this pong game so we can let whenever we press space to serve then the game actually just starts so as soon as I press space and then it will just play well and as soon as I we lose the point then the com computer will get one point and whenever you now let me just let the computer score five points then see what will happen now what you can see it's showing here game over and press add to the stat means it's a match of five points and whoever wins will say and then you have to just press add to restart so this is actually what we are just you now when i press r then it gets started so this is what we are going to do so let's go to code.org and we are creating a new game lab project so in our game we can see that there are no such graphics required so we are not going to add any graphics here we are not using the animations today here we are just making all by our so we are creating a new variable that is player paddle as well as we are creating computer paddle plus we are creating ball now come player score And we are creating computer score. So here we can just remove this create sprite for this score. And here we will write 0, 0. So here what you can see we have created easily. Now we have to just now we have to create. I mean the we have given the positions that it is player paddle, computer paddle, ball, player score, and computer score. Now, but the two positions are not enough because we have to describe each length, breadth, plus po x position, y position. So for all the four, we are going to click this one arrow and one more arrow. So I have to get both ends. So what I am creating for player paddle now, that is. 380, 70, it actually should be 350, 10, and 70. So, as soon as I run it, I'm not able to say anything because I have to first run spikes. Reset and run. So, here I can see the player paddle. Now, I'm doing computer paddle. So, for computer paddle, what I'm doing is Positions 5, 200, same and same as it was 10 and 70. So now, when I reset and run, so it is correct. So here it is. But what are these two positions? Now in the maze game which we have created, so there also we have made use of this too. So this is actually, it describes the height and this the width next we are doing is the ball so for the ball we want it exactly at this position only so let us x coordinates and y coordinates same so we will now make it the it should be a square so 10 and 10 now reset and run so yeah it's fine now we are creating one more variable that is variable game state. That is variable game state. Now what this variable is all about? It just it tells us when to serve and all. It will just hold this position the different different states of the game it is going to hold. Now let's just uh, clear the screen. So let's just first we have to give the background as white because the screen is cleared and there is no shadow remain. Of any of this when it is moved. Isn't it so we are give the background as white. Now if I remove this background white and if I go to player one second if it's y position means it's moving position is actually if player paddle y position I mean it's height position I mean 
this landing position is actually equal to if it's equal to camera dot mouse y then what will happen reset and run so what we can see is that i mean there is it's leaving its shadows whenever i see let me zoom so if i reset and run so whenever i just move it with my camera dot mouse y what i can see that it just leaving its shadows it's moving but it's leaving a shadow there is a bug so to remove this bug what we are going to do is we are going to clear the screen we are going to clear the screen we are going to clear the screen by giving the background color as white now if i run and when i move so the, it is clear the screen because the background color is now white so now you may have got the importance of putting background color now it's time to we have to put press space to serve here in the middle and as soon as space is pressed then the game should start now what we are doing is we are adding an if statement that if variable game state if the variable that is just second and this is no it's actually go to match and here we can do that if suppose game state is equal to so then what's going to happen so actually here when we go to show text then if we write three right then if suppose the variable game state is equal to so then we are going to add a text we will add a text so the text will be press game press space to start now we can write press space to solve at the position 150 and 180 so when i run so here we can see it is showing press space to solve isn't it it's showing press space to solve Uh, also, we are adding more text. That is text of computer score. But don't worry, here we will add the number only. But just for now, we are doing it. Computer score at the position. So here we can write one eighty twenty. When I run, here we should not see like here because it's just temporary. Because we are going to here write. The score in numbers, as I have already told you, the player score in the position two fifteen and twenty. Then, and as in the game, you can see here. So here we can see that there is one line. So we want same line to be here in a project. So let's do that. Now. So for this, we are going to show text. And we are doing, we are writing that for variable i is equal to zero, i is greater than four hundred, and i is equal to i plus twenty. It should draw a line and the position, which is defined there. So let's run. So we can see that it it has. We can see the line in middle. Now let us go to show block. And what we are doing now is. We are actually creating edge sprites. So edge sprites means it will bounce off. So let's create edge sprites. Plus, we will do that. Ball will bounce off everywhere. So ball will bounce off from the edges. Then ball will bounce off from the player paddle. Then ball will bounce off from the computer paddle, and ball will bounce off from bottom edge. 
right so next now we want that the ball should actually serve then ball should actually serve so we want that ball should actually serve when space is spread so for that what we are doing is so if if t down is equal to space wait before it we are going to match we are adding here two statements two statements that is here so p down is equal to space plus game state is equal to so game state is equal to so Then what's going to happen? There we will be calling one more function. We are going creating a new function that is serve. So let's just create that function serve here. So function serve. So in this function, what's going to happen is that the ball velocity is going to actually change. Ball velocity is actually going to change. So ball velocity is equal to three. No, it's wrong. It should be ball velocity. So it should be three, and here it should be four. So now we are actually going to call that function that is serve. So here we are calling the function serve, and game state is equal to play now. Game state is equal to play now. So we can go to variable game state is equal to play now. Now the users can actually play. Right? So then so now we are doing it. Suppose the ball crosses the 400, it causes this, then it, the game is going to restart. So for that we are adding one more if statement that if, if we are going to match. So if ball.x is greater than 400. Here we can find if ball dot x is equal to four hundred and in parallel it is smaller than ball dot x is equal to zero then what's going to happen? So here we are adding two statements for both of these. So if both are working in parallel, so we are doing that one more if statement, two if statements for both of them. So if suppose we can just go to show text, copy it and paste it here. If ball dot same and we can copy this also and paste in the second if statement. Now we can go to show blocks. Now if suppose if border x is equal to computer score, then the score is going to change. Now 
So now here computer score is going to change to computer score is equal to computer score is equal to plus one. Isn't it? And and if Waldorf x is smaller than zero, then what's going to happen? Player score is equal to plus one. Right? And then again the game state is equal to so. So we can here come to then if both are coming parallel then game state is equal to so. Plus a function is going to happen that is function reset. We are creating a new function that is reset. So in this function reset what's going to happen is ball.x and ball dot y is all equal to 200 to 100 in its initial position. And also its velocity is going to be 0. Is equal to zero. So this is actually a function reset, and we will call it there in our game. So fun also it will just second here. Oh no. Here we are doing. So here we are doing fun. We are doing reset. Reset done. So now when I run it and when I press space, then what can I see is it's actually bouncing with it, but the computer battle is not moving. So for that we are going to come here and here we are doing that computer battle is actually equal to computer Paddle dot y is actually equal to what? It's equal to ball dot y position. And when I run now and press play, so you can see that it's also moving, isn't it? The computer paddle is also moving, and now you can see it's also moving. And we will work it for score also. That score should be so shown in numbers only. Our game is half ready. Now let's do that. Suppose if the score is equally great is equal to five, if score is equal to five, then the game will restart. So let's go to and uh, we will add an if statement that if and we will add two things that two things should happen parallel. They should happen in parallel. So if player score is equal to 1, so we can go to match. We can go to show text and add 3 here. Now if player score is equal to 5 as well as computer score is equal to 5 then game state is equal to over it's actually is equal to over plus it will show a text it is going to show a text that is game over. In the position 170 and 160.
also it is going to show a text press r to restart in the position 16280 now suppose we have done that if they should press r to restart now what if they actually pressed r then the player will be shown again two parallel lines that if t down is equal to space if t down is equal to space sorry it's not space if t down is equal to r also if If we will go to match, if game state is equal to over, which we have already declared, then what's going to happen? Then let's go to show text. And add one more and go to show block. Then what's going to happen is then actually game state would be is equal to serve. Game state is equal to serve. Game state is equal to serve and also and the scores will be all zero zero. Computer score and player score will be all zero zero. And player score will also be zero. So now here when we scroll up and here instead of this variable we will just remove it. We will go to show text. And we will remove this and now we will run. Here spelling is wrong. Now we will run. So here we can see everything is all fine. And when I press space to run then we can see that it's moving. Everything is perfectly going. And let's just see if we can able to score the points. Isn't it? Score is not coming. The problem is because we are actually edges. The edges is the problem. So here instead of edges like the bottom edge we have to do top edge. So you should only bounce from the top edge and bottom edge only. Now when I run now and I press page to serve and suppose when I lose a point, see now when I will lose the point. I'm getting score and it's all working nice. Earlier it was not happening because we did hit edges and here edges should not be here. It should be bottom edge and top edge. It should not bounce from here. Otherwise, of course, though it will just bounce and it will not take the point. So with this, we have completed our pong game. So let's just play it again. Reset and run. Press place to serve and it's really amazing to play this game because this game we have played it. And this game like it was, just, it was just when we were seeing this game it was just looking like how oh, how will we make it but now we have made it.